I welcome you all to the autumn session of the Youth Parliament. I hope this session is going to be fruitful and systematic. Let us begin today's proceedings. Member to take oath or affirmation. Secretary General, please. Shri Ramesh Rao, who stands elected from Delhi constituency, will now take oath or affirmation. Shri Ramesh Rao, please. Sir, would you like to take an oath or affirmation? An oath, please. Sir, in which language would you like to take the oath in? In English, please. I, Ramesh Rao, having been elected a member of the lower house of the youth parliament, to swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the constitution of India, as by law established that I will uphold the sovereignty, integrity of India, and that I will faithfully discharge the duty upon which I am about to enter. Srimati Uma Murthy, who stands elected from Chikmagalur constituency of Karnataka, will now take oath or affirmation. Srimati Uma Murthy, please. Madam, would you like to take an oath or affirmation? An oath, please. Madam, in which language would you like to take the oath in? In Kannada, please. Nanu, Srimati Uma Murthy, you are some Satina, Chikamangalurina Sadana Dinda, Chunaitalagi Dene. They were a mele Pramana Madi, Nanu, Srimati Uma Murthy, Vidhi in the Stapitavada, Bharata Desha Samvidhanake, Shradhe, Matu Nishta in the Vartisutene, Desha de Ekate, Matu Akanda Tegaki Shramisutene. Yavas Thana Vanu, Nanu Alankari Suveno, As Thana Delhi, Kelasavanu Shradhe, Matu Nishta in the Madutene. Honorable members, I have to inform to the House of the sad demise of our former colleague, Mr. Mahadev Patil. Mr. Mahadev Patil was a member of the Lok Sabha from 2014 to 2023 Maharashtra, representing the Chandrapur constituency in Maharashtra. He was a source of great inspiration to all of us. The greatest tribute that we can pay to him is by following in the footsteps of his good work. Mr. Mahadev Patil passed away on 30th July 2023 at a very young age, an untimely death indeed. I would like to convey my heartfelt condolences to the bereaved family. I used to pay my tributes to Mr. Mahadev Patil, whose death has been deeply mourned by all of us. He came from a family of agriculture and knowing the pain of laboring and dedication. He was an active social worker 
and performed his duties with utmost devotion and sincerity. He contributed endlessly for the Save Sarai campaign. He dedicated his life for the rights of the farmers and continued to do so during the proceedings of the youth parliament. His works inspired many young aspirants day in and day out. His untimely death is therefore a great shock and loss for all of us. I join his family in this time of bereavement and pray that God bestows courage upon them at such a time. Thank you, Madam Speaker. वह अपने मृदु स्वभाव के कारण हम सभी के प्रिय थे उनकी आकस्मिक मृत्यु से मैं बहुत विचलित महसूस कर रही हूँ उनके न रहने से हमने एक बहुत अच्छा सामाजिक सार्वजनिक व राजनैतिक कार्यकर्ता खो दिया है वह अपनी किताबों और कार्यों के माध्यम से सदा हमारे बीच बने रहेंगे श्रद्धांजलि स्वरूप मैं उनके किताब सफल जीवन का रहस्य से कुछ पंक्तियां सुनाना चाहूंगी इस दुनिया में असंभव कुछ नहीं हम वो सब कर सकते हैं जो हम सोच सकते हैं और हम वो सब सोच सकते हैं जो आज तक हमने सोचा नहीं हम अपने आत्मविश्वास और मेहनत के बल पर अपना भाग्य खुद लिख सकते हैं और अगर हमें अपना भाग्य लिखना नहीं आता तो परिस्थितियां हमारा भाग्य खुद लिख देंगी महोदया मैं शोक संतृप्त परिवार को अपनी संवेदनाएं प्रेषित करने में स्वयं को और अपने दल को सहयोजित करना चाहूंगी धन्यवाद महोदय Secretary General to convey the message of condolences to the bereaved family. Yes, madam. Prime Minister to introduce new ministers. Honorable Speaker, madam, it gives me immense pleasure to introduce to you and through you to the house my colleagues, the new ministers, Shrimati Geeta Bhatia, Minister of Agriculture. Shri Mahesh Gupta Minister of Law and Justice. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Now the question hour begins. Question number one zero one, Mrs. Mahima Pandey, please. Honourable Speaker, Madam, will the Minister of Finance be pleased to state a why is anyone not doing anything about the multi-dimensional poverty faced by the people of Bihar? B the poverty rate of india is more than that of the other countries what is the government doing about this situation thank you madam speaker finance minister please honorable speaker madam i would like to state that the poverty rates are now below 34% across the country even though in bihar it is 33.76% it has made the steepest reduction in the poverty ratio in the past 5 years thank you speaker madam supplementary questions please mr aftar mohammed please माननीय सभापति महोदय मैं इस बात पर प्रकाश डालना चाहता हूं कि अभी भी बिहार की 30% से अधिक सिर्फ 30% नहीं 30% से अधिक जनसंख्या बहुआयामी गरीबी से जूझ रही है आखिर सरकार इस बारे में कर क्या रही है धन्यवाद महोदया फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर प्लीज ऑनरेबल स्पीकर मैडम आई वुड लाइक टू कन्वे दैट इन 2015 एंड 16 51.89% ऑफ बिहार्स पॉपुलेशन 
population was living in multi-dimensional poverty and 51.89% of Bihar's population was living in multi-dimensional poverty. But under our government, it has reduced to 33.76%. In other words, every two citizens were living in multi-dimensional poverty in Bihar in 2015 and 16. Now, it has reduced to every one in four citizens in India in 2021 and 22. Thank you, Speaker Madam. Any more supplementary questions, please? Mr. Balakrishna Murthy, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, what about the poverty rate of India with respect to the world? Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Finance Minister, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, there are various reports that clarify that India has come a long way reducing its poverty burden. According to the report of 2015 and 16, only seven states had less than 5% of their population living in poverty and rest 21 states had more than 15% of their population living in poverty. But now it gives me immense pleasure to state that the list has doubled and expanded to 14 states who have less than 5% of their population living in multidimensional poverty. Thank you, Speaker Madam. Now, no more supplementary questions, please. Question number 102, Mrs. Swati Nair, please. Mohadeya, Shiksha, Hindustan ke bacho ka sabse mulye vaan adhikar hai. Magar hamare desh mein abhi bhi aise kai laachar bacche hai, jinne ye saman ya adhikar bhi praat nahi ho pa raha hai. इसका मुख्य कारण शिक्षक और शिक्षा प्रदान करने वाले संस्थानों की कमी है अब भारत का युवा माननीय शिक्षा मंत्री से यह जवाब चाहता है कि देश में तेजी से बढ़ते हुए अशिक्षित युवाओं की मात्रा को घटाने के लिए यह सरकार कौन कौन से ठोस कदम उठा रही है धन्यवाद महोदय मिनिस्टर ऑफ एजुकेशन प्लीज Honorable Speaker, Madam, I would like to answer this question by stating some programs initiated by our government in order to reduce the number of uneducated people in our country. Like Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, which aims to provide elementary education in the country. New India Literacy Program, which provides financial and digital literacy. We have also launched a new policy that is the National Education Policy 2020, which mainly focuses on childhood education for the children in our country. I urge the opposition members to do some homework before they present any question in the youth parliament. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Supplementary questions, please. Mrs. Kirtana Sahu, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, adding up to the question asked by my party member, I would like to bring to the notice of parliamentarian the case of Kendra Vidyalaya Sangathan, where even after having vacancies for various teaching departments, the recruitment of teachers still remain low. My question to Minister of Education is, what are the steps taken by the government to increase employment in the education sector for the teachers? Thank you, Speaker Madam. When our government is well aware about the situation in Kendra Vidyalayas, let me tell you a few measures initiated by our government in order to increase the rate of employment of teachers in Kendra Vidyalayas, like conducting recruitment drives regularly, appointing teachers timely, and on-time equitable transfer of teachers in annual transfer process. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Now, no more supplementary questions, please. Question number 103, Mr. Arjun Mehta, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, I would like to ask the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution that what is the government doing to ensure that everyone in the country has equal access to food? Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Minister for Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, firstly, we are ensuring that there is enough food for everyone. Secondly, we are trying to make sure that all the people have the capacity and resources to have access to adequate food. Next, we're trying to make sure that barriers regarding access to food is removed. But what about the people living in roadsides and slum areas? They are not able to have food twice a day. What do you have to say about this? Please let the minister continue. Minister, please. Thank you, Speaker, Madam. The interruption is invalid 
because we are in possession of the information about food scarcity faced by people living in rural areas and near slum areas. Therefore, in our dedication to feed every person in need, we ensure food security system by creating a buffer stock and public distribution system to adequate food. In conclusion, we are trying our best to make sure that all the food items and grains are affordable to every individual of the country. Thank you, Speaker Madam. Supplementary questions, please. Mrs. Tanbo Gogoi, please. Minister, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, please. Honorable Speaker, our government has taken a couple of steps towards strengthening our food security system. Here, I would like to mention a few schemes that our government has launched recently. Firstly, the new scheme to provide free food to 81 crore beneficiaries under National Food Security Act for the year 2023. Schemes to strengthen the provision of NFSA, which is National Food Security Act 2013 in terms of accessibility and affordability of food grains. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Now, no more supplementary questions, please. The question hour is over. The zero hour begins. Question number 201, Mrs. Soumya Tata, please. Maninia Sabhapati Mahodaya. शुद्ध हवा में सांस लेना मन और शरीर के बीच की अटूट कड़ी है यह जीवन का सार है परंतु दुर्भाग्य से हमारे घरों में हमारे शहरों में और हमारी सड़कों पर सांस लेना हमारे लिए खतरनाक हो गया है तो क्या पर्यावरण वन एवं जलवायु मंत्री यह बताने का कष्ट करेंगी कि क स्थिति की गंभीरता की पहचान करने की दिशा में सरकारी तंत्र कैसे काम कर रहा है ख वायु प्रदूषण के खतरनाक प्रभावों से निपटने के लिए सरकार द्वारा क्या विभिन्न कदम उठाए गए हैं धन्यवाद महोदय मिनिस्टर फॉर एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज प्लीज महोदय हमारे मन और शरीर के बीच की इस अटूट कड़ी को कायम रखने के लिए हमारी सरकार ने कई सारे ठोस कदम उठाए हैं वैसे तो वायु प्रदूषण को प्रभावित करने वाले कई कारण हैं, जिसमें मुख्य रूप से दिवाली की आतिशबाजी से लेकर विषैली गैसे खेतीबाड़ी के उपकरण उद्योग तथा परिवहन की सामग्रियां शामिल हैं। परंतु हमारी सरकार ने इस समस्या की गंभीरता को पहचानते हुए राष्ट्रीय स्वच्छ वायु कार्यक्रम यानी एन की शुरुआत की है देश के 102 गैर प्रभावी शहरों में से 43 शहरों में एन की शुरुआत के लिए स्मार्ट सिटी कार्यक्रम का भी उपयोग किया जाएगा धन्यवाद महोदय सप्लीमेंट्री क्वेश्चन प्लीज मिस्टर धनुष कुलकर्णी प्लीज माननीय सभापति महोदय हमारी पृथ्वी का रक्षा कवच और नीले आकाश का नीलापन अब कालीमा में बदल चुका है हमारे चांद तारे हमारे चांद तारे अस्पष्ट एवं अदृश्य हो गए हैं दिल्ली में तो सांस लेना ही खतरनाक साबित होने लगा है हम जानते हैं हम जानते हैं इसका मुख्य कारण प्रदूषण की बढ़ती काली घटा ही है मैं माननीय पर्यावरण वन एवं जलवायु परिवर्तन मंत्री से यह जानना चाहता हूं कि इस समस्या को रोकने के लिए सरकार ने कौन कौन से कदम उठाए हैं धन्यवाद सभापति महोदय Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change, please. Mahodaya, NCAP ke dhanche ke bheetar vayu pradushan ki rok thaam, niyantran aur avantan ke liye rashtri vayu pradushan niyantran board ko lagu kiya gaya hai. Hamaare mantralay ke shish samiti samay samay par iski pragati ki suchna dete rahenge. Desh ke 102 gyaar prabhavi shairo ke liye वायु गुणवत्ता प्रबंध योजना यानी एयर क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट को अमल किया जाएगा दिल्ली के लिए ग्रेडेड रिस्पांस एक्शन प्लान के अनुरूप एक आपातकालीन कार्य योजना भी बनाई जाएगी और ठीक वैसे ही प्रति एक शहर के लिए अपना एक अलग एयर क्वालिटी इंडेक्स भी बनाया जाएगा 
आईएसआरओ के माध्यम से उपलब्ध उपग्रह डेटा तथा एन कैप के तहत निगरानी व पूर्ण अनुमान के लिए एकत्रित किया जाएगा all that of facts being merely even facts presented by my opponent are just the hype made by media and they are far from reality thank you speaker madam members please maintain the decorum of the house any more supplementary questions please mrs elizabeth matthew please इंतजार है ताकि इलेक्ट्रिक वाहनों का प्रतिष्ठापन हमारे देश में भी की जा सके हमारा अगला प्रमुख कदम सड़क वाहनों को इलेक्ट्रिक वाहनों में बदलना है हाइड्रोजन की वास्तविक लागत पेट्रोल और डीजल से कई गुना बढ़ सकती है इस क्षेत्र में अध्ययन जारी है और हमारे वैज्ञानिक आशावादी है धन्यवाद महोदया नाउ नो मोर सप्लीमेंट्री क्वेश्चंस प्लीज मिसेस तांबो गोगोई प्लीज Honorable Speaker, Madam, the recent conversion of the previous state of Jammu and Kashmir into two union territories, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, leaves some significant doubts for the opposition party. A. Can the Honorable Home Minister clarify the steps taken to bring back normalcy in Kashmir? B. What are special schemes made available to the union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh? Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Honorable Home Minister, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, our government is committed towards peace, safety, and prosperity of our citizens. For the safety of our Kashmiri brothers and sisters, we have enhanced security measures in the valley. This will check cross-border terrorism and restore peace in Kashmir. A wide spectrum of 85 schemes have been introduced, including schemes related to farmers' welfare. to uplift the living conditions of the people the local surveys and reports don't tell us about implementation of such schemes at the ground level please don't spread lies here please let the minister continue minister please thank you speaker madam the member is misleading the house by presenting false information according to the information received from jammu and kashmir administration 80% of all medical shops in Srinagar and 65% of the medical shops have been opened in the Kashmir Valley. All 376 notified drugs are available at government stores as well as private retail shops and 62 essential life-saving drugs have also been made available. Thank you speaker madam. Supplementary questions please. Mrs. Akanksha Dwal please. Adarniya Adhyaksha Mahodaya मैं अपना प्रस्ताव रखने से पहले चंद पंक्तियां अर्ज करना चाहूंगी वक्त आ गया है अब दुनिया से साफ साफ कहना होगा वक्त आ गया है अब दुनिया से साफ साफ कहना होगा देश प्रेम की प्रबल धारा में हर मन को बहना होगा वही हिंदुस्तानी कहलाएगा जिसके दिल में है तिरंगा वही हिंदुस्तानी कहलाएगा जिसके दिल में है तिरंगा हिंदुस्तान में हिंदुस्तानी बनकर रहना होगा हिंदुस्तानी बनकर रहना होगा माननीय मंत्री जी से मेरा यह अनुरोध है कि कृपया हमें इस बात पर आश्वासन प्रदान करें कि सरकार कश्मीर मामले को अंतरराष्ट्रीय स्तर पर कैसे रखेगी धन्यवाद महोदय ऑनरेबल होम मिनिस्टर प्लीज ऑनरेबल स्पीकर मैडम वी आर श्योर टू कन्विंस द यू एन ऑफ आवर डिसीजन We have spent out a misery to the UN, even though some of our neighboring countries have raised questions regarding this issue. So let me make it clear: यह हमारे घर का मामला है. अपने घर के मामले में हम ग्यारह को तकलंदाजी नहीं करने देंगे. Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Maintain the decorum of the house. 
Now, no more supplementary questions, please. Question number 203, Mrs. Samya Datta, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, I would like to propose a question to the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. Can the government explain the surge in the price of tomatoes by over 300% between June and July? The prices of tomatoes are now higher than gas. At the same time, supplies have also shrunk. We know that the half is a climate of July usually follows by the rise in the price of food commodities. We demand to know about what the government is doing to resolve this issue or are they just fooling the citizens with their gimmicks? Please let the member continue. Member, please. Thank you, Speaker, Madam. As on recent dates, the price of 1 kg of tomatoes has crossed nearly 200 rupees, which is almost three times, I repeat, three times more when compared with last year, when its price was only 80 rupees, according to the data from Department of Consumer Affairs itself. Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, please. माननीय अध्यक्षा महोदया विपक्ष के प्रश्न ने भले ही सबका ध्यान विचलित कर लिया हो परंतु हम यहाँ लड़ने नहीं आए हैं इनके सवाल के जवाब में मैं यह कहना चाहूंगी कि देश भर में टमाटरों की कीमतों में वृद्धि मुख्य रूप से आपूर्ति पक्ष के कारण हुई है तापमान में उतार चढ़ाव बेमौसम बारिश और अन्य कारकों जैसी अनियमित जलवायु परिस्थितियों के कारण सभी क्षेत्रों और विशेष रूप से प्रत्येक क्षेत्रों में फसलों की उपलब्धि और रसद में व्यवधान पैदा हुआ है सरकार ने इन मुद्दों के ऊपर तुरंत समाधान लाने के लिए कई कदम भी उठाए हैं धन्यवाद महोदय सप्लीमेंट्री क्वेश्चन प्लीज मिसिज निकिता शर्मा प्लीज ऑनरेबल स्पीकर मैडम Today it is the price of the tomatoes. Yesterday it was onions and tomorrow it might even be potatoes. Tomato is considered as one of the most essential daily use vegetable of a common man. At the end of the day it is the common man who is affected by the fluctuating prices. I ask the minister to outline the actions taken to control the prices of the essential commodities and ensure that the citizens of our country do not go hungry. Thank you, Speaker Madam. Minister of Consumer Affairs, Mahadeya, Sarkar pehle hai utpadak rajyo se tomatar kharid chuki hai aur isse riayate daro par pramuk upbhog kendro mein vitrit karegi ya ek niyantrin tantra ke rup mein madat karega jab tak ki kiemate apni agli fasal tak sammanye mulyo par na a jaye. Dhanyavad Mahadeya. Any more supplementary questions, please? Leader of Opposition, please. Mananiya Sabhapati Mahodaya, Honorable Speaker, Madam, it has come to our notice that the rising prices in food commodities like tomatoes have led to violence and crime. In Varanasi, a holy city from northern India, a shopkeeper reportedly kept two bouncers to stop people from quarreling over the rising prices of tomatoes. Meanwhile, in the city of Pune, a shopkeeper allegedly smacked a customer using a weighing scale. Across the country, reports of people stealing from fields and hijacking tomato-laden trucks have made the headlines. They have started keeping signboards which state, Pehle paisa, baad mein tomatar. Kripya, tomatar aur mirchi ko mat chuiye. Are, ab aap sabhi hi bataiye, kya kaan de ke baad tomatar khana bhi chhod de? People have also reduced the quantity of their purchase due to obvious reasons. I request the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution to justify to all of us the measures they have taken in order to stop such mishappenings in our country. Thank you, Speaker Madam. Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, please. माननीय अध्यक्ष महोदय विपक्ष के प्रश्न ने मुझे यह सोचने पर मजबूर कर दिया है कि वह वास्तव में कोई बात समझाना चाह रही है या फिर सिर्फ मनोरंजन करने आई है पर चूंकि सवाल का जवाब देना मेरा कर्तव्य है मैं इनके सवाल के माध्यम से यह कहना चाहूंगी कि सरकार 
जैसा कि पहले भी कहा गया है देश भर में खाद्य वस्तुओं की उचित उपलब्धि सुनिश्चित करने में लगी है हम पर्यावरणीय चुनौतियों से निपटने और देश के लाभ के लिए सबसे उपयुक्त समाधान लाने की पूरी कोशिश कर रहे हैं जलवायु परिवर्तन स्वाभाविक है फिर भी हम यह सुनिश्चित करने की पूरी कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि हमारे देश के सभी लोगों को उचित मूल्य से बुनियादी खाद्य वस्तुओं की उपलब्धि हो सके धन्यवाद महोदय Any more supplementary questions, please? Mrs. Akansha Dwal, please. Adarni Adhyaksha Mahodaya, is baare mein maanini krishi mantri ki kya raay hai? Woh kab tak chup rahengi? Kya chuppi hi har samasya ka jawab hai? Hame jawab chahiye. Dhanyavad Mahodaya. Minister of Agriculture, please. Eh, ek krishak ka pure dil aur jaan se samman karti hu. Parindu tomato ke damo mein vridhi mein se sarkar ki galti nahi hai. इसका मूल कारण जैसे कि मेरे सहयोगी ने कहा पर्यावरण में परिवर्तन भी है इसके समर्थन में मैं कुछ पंक्तियां प्रस्तुत करना चाहूंगी सिर्फ सरकार न कर पाएगी कोई बदलाव लोगों को आना होगा एक साथ सिर्फ सरकार न कर पाएगी कोई बदलाव लोगों को आना होगा एक साथ आओ यार सब मिलकर बड़ा हाथ पर्यावरण को बचाए ताकि बर्बाद ना हो किसान का उत्पाद ताकि बर्बाद ना हो किसान का उत्पाद धन्यवाद महोदय The zero hour is over. Honorable Speaker, Madam, I wish today as an issue of breach of privilege when my reputation as an honourable member of this assembly is at stake. I have been a member of youth parliament continuously for about four years and at no time I have behaved in a manner that has brought disrepute to myself or the position I hold. The editor of the news, India Times, is responsible for spreading news items that are derogatory or defamatory. They have been carrying out a well-orchestrated vilification campaign against me, though I'm a law-abiding citizen of the country. First, I did not take much notice of it, but the continuous attacks have brought me to a situation that cannot be ignored anymore. Madam, you can understand that a conspiracy is being hatched against me. It is the duty of the media to act responsibly, truthfully, and fairly. They have no right of character assassination and misleading the people. Speaker Madam, you are the custodian of our rights and privileges. I am requesting you to refer this matter to the Committee of Privileges for an appropriate action. Have we given notice of it earlier? You cannot spring surprises like this. Yes Madam, I have this morning. In that case, it will be examined when it comes to me and I shall let you know of my decision. Thank you Speaker Madam. Now, papers to be laid on the table of the House. Mrs. Deepika Banerjee, Minister of Environment, Forest and climate change, please. Mahodaya, aap ke anumati se mein pariyavaran, van, evam jal vayu parivartan mantale dwara prastavit harik tribunal ki or se pariyavaran pradushan par ki gai jaj ke parinamo ki ek pratilipi vishesh samiti ke saamne rakhne ki anumati jati ho. Dhanyavad, Mahodaya. But for health and family welfare, please lay the paper on the table of the house. Honorable Speaker, Madam, I am laying on the table a report on the measures taken to prevent the dengue outbreak in our country in the month of May and June. Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Secretary to report message from Upper Chamber of Youth Parliament. Speaker, Madam, I have to report the following message received from the Secretary General of the Raj Sabha. In accordance with the provisions of Rule 111 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in the Raj Sabha, I am directed to enclose a copy of Rights with Persons Disabilities Bill 2015, seeking to increase reservations for persons with disabilities from the existing 3% to 5%, and also reserve seat for them in higher educational institutions. Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Secretary, to lay on the table a copy of the bill as passed by the upper chamber. Speaker, Madam, I lay on the table the Rights with Persons Disabilities Bill 2015, which replaces Equal Opportunity, Protection of Rights and Full Participation Act of 1995 with the new bill which was passed in the upper chamber at its sitting on 29th July 2015. Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Honorable Members, I have to make an announcement. On my own behalf and on behalf of the Honorable Members of the House, I have great pleasure in extending our warm welcome to the French delegation led by Senate Leader General Larker and French Speaker Yale Brown. It is a very high-powered delegation that arrived on Monday 1st of July 2023. 
They are now seated in the special box and through them we convey warm greetings to the friendly people of France and wish that they have a happy and fruitful stay in our country. Now, let us take up the calling attention motion. Mrs. Rokhya Shekhawat, Mrs. Aarti Varma, Mr. Balvinder Singh, Mr. Vivek Mathur, please call the attention of the house. Mrs. Aarti Varma, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, I would, li I, li I would like to call the attention of the House towards the burning issue of Manipur violence. More than half are Metis, while around 43% are Cookies and Nagas, the predominant minority tribes of Manipur. The Cookies began protesting against the demands from the Metis to be given official tribal status, which they argued would strengthen their strong influence on the government and society, allowing them to buy land or settle in the predominantly cookie areas. This resulted in a situation where at least 150 people have been killed and more than 400 wounded in violence, which began in the month of May. More than 60,000 have been forced from their homes as the army, paramilitary forces and police struggle to quell violence. Police armories have been looted, hundreds of churches and more than a dozen temples ruined and villages destroyed. I would like to ask the Honorable Home Minister about the measures being taken up by the government to solve this issue. Thank you, Speaker Madam. Honorable Home Minister, please. Honorable Speaker Madam, our government is aware of the ethnic tensions between the Métis and Cookie people in Manipur. Our government is taking this situation seriously and measures have been taken by the state government to resolve this issue as soon as possible. The government shut down the internet in order to prevent the spreading of misinformation. Additional forces have been deployed in the state to ensure law and order. And an adequate number of relief camps have also been set up. Thank you, Speaker Madam. Mrs. Rokhya Shekhawat, you may proceed. Honorable Speaker Madam, it is very disheartening to know about the humiliation faced by the women of Manipur. So I urge the Minister for Women and Child Development to inform my fellow parliamentarians about what the government is doing regarding the protection of women and children involved in these ethnic tensions. Thank you, Speaker Madam. Minister Madaniya Sabhapati Mahodaya, jab se hume sthiti ki suchna mili hai, tatha jab se ghatna shuru hui hai, हमारी सरकार ने मणिपुर में इंटरनेट सुविधाओं को ब्लॉक करने जैसे कई कदम उठाए हैं स्थिति की संख्या लेते हुए हमने महिला सुरक्षा को अपने कार्य योजनाओं में सबसे महत्वपूर्ण स्थान दिया है धन्यवाद सभापति महोदय मिस्टर बलविंदर सिंह यू मे प्रोसीड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक द चेयर फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कॉल द अटेंशन ऑफ द हाउस Manipur state government has failed to put adequate security measures in place ahead of the tribal solidarity march recently why why are the authorities unable to bring the situation under control despite of taking drastic measures thank you speaker madam Hon honorable speaker madam the violence broke out in chura chandpur a town just south of the state capital imphal following a cookie led tribal solidarity march in 10 of the state's 16 districts as the metis organized counter protests and blockades clashes spread across manipur why were the metis denied st status please let the minister continue minister please thank you speaker madam when the first backward classes commission requested a list of tribes to be included in the scheduled tribes modification list from each state and union territory, Métis did not include themselves. At the same time, they cannot pretend that they were not aware of this, as certain sections of the Métis were enlisted as scheduled tribes on the Commission's recommendation. Now, after more than six decades, the demand to be at the same level as the people whom they contemptuously call tribal regarding the inclusion of tribes in the ST list. It is basically a policy for promoting social justice by adopting positive discrimination and affirmative action for the unrepresented within the society. Regarding the Manipur violence, I appeal 
all the respected members present here to support and cooperate with on this matter, ignoring all political and personal benefits. Thank you, Speaker, Madam. Mr. Vivek Mathur, you may proceed. Honorable Speaker, Madam, internet being an important source of communication was suspended in Manipur even after the violence had stopped. I request the Minister of Communication and Information Technology to give a suitable explanation for that action. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Minister for Communication and Information Technology, please. Honorable Speaker, Madam, we all know that the internet has many benefits, but at the same time, it can also be a huge problem, as in the case of Manipur, where it was majorly used to spread false information. Therefore, to ensure that our special forces are able to do their jobs efficiently, we had to suspend the internet in Manipur for a while. I hope the opposition members have received an appropriate answer for their question. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Bill to be considered. Defense Minister, Mrs. Vedehi Bisht, please. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I beg to move introduction of military administration in case of untoward incidents, Bill 2023. Recently, we all have observed that the district administration of various districts are unable to provide military enforcement during emergency situations. Keeping this in mind, we introduce to you and through you to the House this bill which introduces military administration by central power in case of untoward incidents. In other words, whenever there is an emergency situation in a district and the district administration fails to maintain peace and order, then there should be a provision to pass the military powers to the central defense administration to resolve the matter systematically. This will be done by the state authorities only when the DM or DC announces that they need the backup in form of military enforcement. Honorable Speaker, Madam, as raised in calling attention motion, the situation of Manipur is getting worse day by day. The state administration is not able to resolve the matter in a way which is accepted by all communities involved in this. Such incidents need to be administered by the Central Defense Administration to make sure that the violence is avoided. Madam Speaker, in this bill, the following aspects are included. First, we will make necessary arrangements to enforce military to calm the violent outrages. Next, we will appoint a military representative who has prior defense experiences and will be able to look after the emergency emergency situation closely. He or she will make sure that no rights of the citizens are being violated and all of them are living in harmony. AFSPA, that is Armed Forces Special Power Act 1954, needs to be further extended. As on today, it is applicable on only 31 districts of four northeastern states completely and 12 districts partially. This act needs to be extended so that it becomes one of the most widely accepted acts from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh. Madam Speaker, our purpose to introduce such a bill to the House today is for a very noble cause, that is peace. With the help of law and order, we want peace to be guaranteed in this country. Whenever there is a problem, the defense will make sure to make its best decisions and take necessary actions so that the citizens of India live a comfortable life. Our motive to introduce such a bill is for helping the citizens of India and keeping their well-being, their rights, and they themselves safe. Hence, Honorable Speaker, Madam, I assure the House that this bill Introduction of Military Administration in case of untoward incidents 2023 will be very effective once implemented. I further urge all the members of this youth parliament to seriously ponder over my proposal and request my fellow parliamentarians to agree upon this bill presented by the Central Defense Administration. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Honorable Speaker, Madam, I am extremely delighted that the Defense Minister bought this bill, headed 
Introduction of Military Administration in Case of Untoward Incidents 2023 on the table. Once implemented, I'm sure that the Defense Administration will work upon the protection of the citizens. Further, I will personally make sure that this bill is followed strictly and effective results are shown timely. Speaker Madam, the Defense Administration has always made the best choices for our country and I strongly believe that they will continue to do so during the upcoming sessions of the Youth Parliament. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I am confident that all honorable members of this House, irrespective of their party affiliation, will welcome this bill wholeheartedly. With these words, I now move the bill Introduction of Military Administration in case of untoward incident 2023 be taken into consideration. Yes, Mrs. Natasha Ghosh, Leader of Opposition, please. Mananiya Sabhapati Mohodaya, Sarkar Swayam, Sangabad, or Shetravad ki baate karta rehta hai, aur fir is tarah ke vidhayak pesh karta hai. Asal mein is mein inki koi galti nahi hai. Kabhi kabar apne vote bank ko khush rakhne ke liye, vaha apni marzi ke niyam pesh karte hai. अरे उन्हें तो सच भी मनोरंजन लगता है और मनोरंजन क्यों नहीं लगेगा उनके आंखों पर तो झूठ की पट्टियां बंधी हुई है पर्याप्त से अधिक डेटा यही कहता है कि एक बार किसी नेता को सत्ता मिल जाए तो वह उसका दुरुपयोग जरूर करते हैं महोदया कागज पर सब कुछ वैसे ही लिखा है उन्हीं पुराने अक्षरों में उसी पुराने तरीके से परंतु हमारे देश में ऐसे विधेयक को अमल करना इतना सरल नहीं है धन्यवाद महोदय डिफेंस मिनिस्टर प्लीज आदरणीय सभापति महोदय लगता है हमारी विपक्षी नेता जी की आंख में कान खराब है तभी तो वह इस बिल को ना तो पढ़ पा रही है और ना ही सुन पा रही है धन्यवाद महोदय माननीय सभापति महोदय मेरे आंख में कान बिल्कुल सही सलामत है इसमें रक्षा मंत्री को चिंता करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है उन्हें तो अपने आंख कान की जांच करानी चाहिए क्योंकि वह जनता के कष्ट को देखकर भी अनदेखा कर रही है और सुनकर भी अनसुना कर रही है धन्यवाद महोदय अगर इनकी आंख में कान सही सलामत होती तो क्या वे आज हमारी बना बैठी होती हाउस प्लीज टेक टू दॉपिक बिग डिस्कस्ट मिसेज आरती वर्मा प्लीज Honorable Speaker, Madam, according to the bill, the defense is claiming that they will take appropriate precautions once the state announces that they need backup from the center, accord according to our dear defense minister. But the situation in Manipur is getting out of control. We would all like to know whether the government is actually considering to bring the situation under control or they have just introduced this new bill to increase their dominance over various districts. Mere hisab se, सरकार का उद्देश्य भाषण ज्यादा काम आधा है क्योंकि वह बोलते तो सब कुछ है लेकिन करते कुछ भी नहीं थैंक यू स्पीकर मैडम डिफेंस मिनिस्टर प्लीज स्पीकर मैडम As listed by my colleagues, there are numerous steps taken by this government to bring back the situation of Manipur back to normal. And coming to the question of dominance by defence over various districts. It is clearly mentioned in the bill that the state authorities will provide the military enforcement only when the DM or DC announces that they need the backup in form of military enforcement. Therefore, there should be no question of power misuse by the Defence Administration. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Mr. Swamy Datta, please. माननीय सभापति महोदया सरकार को पहले से ही बहुत सारी जिम्मेदारियां निभानी होती है अब इसके ऊपर मान लो कि दो राज्यों के बीच ही लड़ाई हो गई अब ऐसी स्थिति में हमारे प्रिय रक्षा मंत्री कौन से राज्य को सैन्य सहायता प्रदान करेंगी ये तो वही बात हो गई कि दो भाई बहन के बीच की लड़ाई में अब ये माता रूपी सरकार किन साथ देंगी धन्यवाद महोदया Defence Minister, please. Mananiya Sabhapat Mahode. ऐसी स्थिति में हमारी सरकार यही कोशिश करेगी कि हम दोनों राज्यों के बीच शांति बनाए रखने में अमल रहे। तथा हमारी सरकार हमेशा से ही सच का साथ देती आई है और आगे भी सच का ही साथ देगी। 
और मैं इन्हें यह बात बताना चाहती हूँ कि जैसे कि हर भाई बहन की लड़ाई में एक माँ दोनों को सम्मान नजर से देखती है तथा किसी के साथ अन्याय नहीं करती वैसे ही ऐसी स्थिति में हमारी सरकार भी किसी राज्य के साथ अन्याय नहीं करेगी धन्यवाद महोदय मिस्टर कौशिक अग्रवाल प्लीज ऑनरेबल स्पीकर मैडम एज वी नो द रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ द यूथ इन मिलिट्री इन इंडिया इज डिक्रीजिंग डे बाय डे ड्यू टू ऑब्वियस रीजन मिलिट्री इज रिक्वायर्ड बोथ फॉर एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनल अफेयर्स इंट्रोड्यूसिंग दिस बिल इज ओके but as we know the number of young military personnel is very low and this would in turn create imbalance in the military administration we would like to know the steps taken by the government to strengthen our army <laughs> if there are any thank you honorable speaker madam defense minister please honorable speaker madam we have indeed taken many steps to increase the military personnel within the country this includes Increasing the cut off of entrance exams, which are given by the youth of this country e every year, increasing payments and making better provisions for multiple insurances provided to the military personnel by the Defence Administration. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As all the arguments are presented, those who are in favour of the bill will say aye. Aye. Those who are against it will say no. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. The motion is adopted. The house is now adjourned to meet again tomorrow at 11 a.m.